very good afternoon everybody uh, today is the final day eh, of uh, our presentations uh, this is the evening slot and uh, today you are going to make presentations on cultural uh, studies uh, let me share the list of the students who are going to make presentations along with their topics uh, here is the list of uh, the students Okay, so uh, we'll start with uh, Amina. First presentation will be on importance of media studies for digital culture, followed by Bhavna, uh, the concept of, concept of hegemony in cultural studies. Uh, after that, Dhruvita will read on popular culture. Uh, then Dhwani will make presentation on cultural studies, practical reading of Othello by William Shakespeare. Janvi will make presentation on Hawthorne and his market. Along with it, Chetan Bhagat and his market also. Divya Sheta will make presentation on cyber feminism and technoculture. Khushbu will uh, read on new historicism. Himanshi on power in cultural studies. Uh, Hinaba on American multiculturalism. And the last one will be by Hirua on cultural studies and its four uh, goals. Uh, you all have submitted your presentations in uh, Google uh, Classroom and through Google Classroom, you all will uh, share your presentations uh, during uh, the session. Uh, as you know, you will be evaluated by teachers on this parameter. In the Google Classroom, we have a rubric and based on that, several parameters are predecided about your subject knowledge organization of your ideas, your verbal skills, <clears throat> uh, mechanics of writing, uh, eye contact and enthusiasm, uh, and last two topics on citation and uh, documentation style as per MLA. So on these parameters, a teacher will evaluate your presentation and the rubric based uh, evaluation will be there and you will get your score in Google Classroom. Along with that, uh, you are also uh, doing peer and self-evaluation also of all the presentations so we have prepared an online form where you are doing the evaluation of self as well as your classmates also and uh, <clears throat> every day you can see how you are being evaluated <clears throat> by your classmates whenever you submit uh, this link you get uh, uh, the report also and uh, this is how you can observe that how you are performing as compared to your classmates. So in a transparent way, uh, all these things are made visible to everybody. Uh, what we have come to see is that, that some of uh, you uh, uh, is not honestly evaluating the very, uh, the very objective or intention of this process of self and peer evaluation is to see that uh, uh, you are evaluating everybody in a very objective and honest manner instead of through any biases or any prejudices. One of the unconscious bias that is pursued here normally is that, that uh, some of you are giving full score to yourself, but to others you are under evaluating. You are over evaluating yourself and under evaluating uh, the other people also. So uh, what the purpose of this is uh, to see that uh, a fair practice and fair habit of doing evaluation is cultivated by us, not uh, on any grounds of prejudices or biases that is happening. So in case anybody in this group is uh, thinking in that manner and looking at the names rather than the performance, then don't do that. That is not what we want to teach. We want to see that you become a uh, a very objective and very honest evaluator of the things irrespective of uh, any other things any other parameter should not affect that is the very idea behind peer and self evaluation so see that you do the uh, things in a very objective manner and try to look at yourself in comparison to how your group of presenters are doing in that if you think you are the best then you can give full score to you 
but it doesn't mean that you only give one or two points to others. <laughs> so, uh, and, and then you put yourself at the highest and some others are at the lowest. So that is not fair. Otherwise, you can give yourself full score if you think you are the best. Uh, and likewise, you have to evaluate everybody also. Uh, okay, so that is uh, uh, about uh, this. We are streaming this live and uh, for last uh, Corona has given us this idea to keep on uh, having this documented record of all this thing. So these are all the links of uh, uh, students webinars. Number 13 is this one where uh, our live things are going. This is the final last day, 7th October. The season, the third season is ending uh, today. And uh, all the presentations uh, so far which are made are made available here. This is the first day of presentation. This is the second day uh, when you made presentations on Indian English uh, uh, literatures. Uh, and then third day it was on post-colonial studies. Uh, and uh, then yesterday you made presentations on literary theory and criticism. And finally, uh, Today uh, morning we have already completed the session before lunch and now uh, it is turned for uh, this session. So it is already going live uh, here and uh, so all this will be documented here for future reference and all our uh, future students also uh, will get a good advantage from your presentations and they will learn lot many things from what good you have done as well as what mistakes you have committed. So both the ways there will be good learning for the future generations of the students who will be coming to study in uh, the department. With you. So uh, let us start with our final day of uh, uh, presentations and we'll start uh, with Amina. So you can start sharing the presentation. Okay. Uh, put this camera slightly down. Is it visible? Yes, you can start. Good afternoon, respected sir and my dear friends. My today's topic is based on importance of media study for digital culture. Uh, this is my personal information. Uh, the table of content explanation of digital culture, uh, importance of uh, media studies, why it is important to study and conclusion. Uh, first of all, I will explain what is cultural and how uh, how, how does it changes. Uh, this is the definition I've taken from Merriam Webster. The customary beliefs, social forms and material traits or a racial, religious or a social group is known as a cultural. And how does this changes? Now the cultural has changed into the digital media. Changes in culture also is change in culture. Uh, the mass media is gaining power over the society, uh, government, technological advancement, social freedom or new trends of thoughts of human rights and now and social movement is a change form of culture nowadays. Now I will explain what is digital culture. Digital culture is a popular culture network 
games all uh, uh, different types of uh, sources like facebook instagram are all the digital cultures internet is a main source for the digital culture we should not be in a we should not think of this in a congested way it's the uh, digital culture should be maintained in a diverse way by this we can get a creative culture with the help of digital culture now i will explain about the importance of media study communication matters because because connection matters so uh, media uh, media studies in are of we use it for da daily life like social media blogs blogs everything between media studies plays a big part of everyday life in our studies also we are making blogs videos we are all having youtube channels this are all the parts of media the media of work is to provide their audience with fact and keep the better informed in media studies the work of media is to provide the better news not to filter and uh, give the correct information to the people so now i have taken the five points from the nomin chomsky and edward herman book the political economy of mass media by nomin chomsky uh, first is the ownership the media outlets have to protect the interests out of company and in order to do this they uh, end up filtering out of information being supplied to masses so there are where uh, there are many examples in the news that news are something else and they are so uh, showing something else to us uh, then next is advertisement advertisement is a uh, very Uh, important in uh, television also we can see daily that there are different types of advertisement shown through the channels even on different types of website uh, they are showing the advertisement and even they are uh, showing advertisement in a very creative manner that the uh, customer get attracted towards it and they try to get that things uh, next is the sourcing Uh, the third herman chomsky's five filter related to mass media are drawn in a symbolic uh, relation between powerful source of information by economic necessary and reciprocity uh, sourcing is a main uh, part of uh, mass media next is a flag if you want to challenge power you will be punished to margin when the media journalists list baller source stray away from the conscious that get flag this is a fourth filter when the story of inconvenient for powers that to be a flag machine in action is creating source threshing story uh, flag means uh, uh, so the news are uh, uh, are of something else and uh, in media the news are showing some uh, they are showing something else news what is the main point they are not showing but they are diverting the news in uh, uh, george orwell movie we can see the war is going on and they are showing the examples uh, they are showing in media about the awards that what awards they have got and different types of things they are showing they are not showing the correct what is going they are not showing they are diverting the news uh, the common enemy uh, in this the one person is ma marginalized means uh, they are not uh, showing the uh, they are not seeing the behind things but in everything one thing is marginalized marginalized in a common enemy a boy gummy man to fear helps of a coral public opinion any one or any one thing is marginalized in the common enemy conclusion uh, digital media has different merits positive as well as negative each and every one should be aware of aware of both aspects in digital media we have both negative aspect as well as positive aspect A positive aspect is we get very many new things to learn from the media we get many new sources we can create our own identity by creating uh, our uh, profile on different type of platforms and negative uh, aspect is that we should be aware of the news what are going on and what uh, all things are being done we should fact check the things uh, these are my resources and thank you
What is creative culture and how it is connected with media? Uh, creative culture means a uh, person are uh, being uh, creative by making, I uh, have given the example that we are making blogs, videos, we are creating our own identity in a different way. Each person has his own identity. So he or she is trying to show her own identity. That's a creative culture with the help of media culture. No, uh, looking at media study is having a good aspects as well as ne negative aspects, as I have mentioned in my last slide, that we can uh, uh, see, uh, uh, get more things to learn with the help of very good sources. But we should uh, even have to see that whether it's good or bad. So it has both the aspects, but we have to be, we have to be aware about that things. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today is my uh, topic. I uh, I am going to present the concept of the cultural hegemony in cultural studies. This is my personal information. Now, uh, what is cultural study? So, cultural studies uh, interdisciplinary field uh, concerned with the role of social institutions in the shaping of culture. Uh, such scholars as Richard Hogarth, Stuart uh, Hall, and Raymond Williams, cultural studies later became a well-established field in many academic institutions. It has since had broad influ uh, influence in sociology, anthropology, historiography, lit uh, literary criticism, uh, philosophy, uh, and art criticism. Now, uh, what is cultural hegemony? So cultural hegemony refers to domination or rule maintained through ideological or cultural means. It is usually achieved uh, through social institutions uh, which allow those in power to strongly influence uh, the values, norms, ideas, expectations, uh, worldview, and behavior of the rest of the society. Uh, Gra uh, Gramsci already the notion of hegemony before being adopted by Antonio Gramsci already had a, a long uh, history. A knowledge of his this history is vital to uh, gaining an understanding of the terms immediate uh, influence within cultural studies. So Antonio Gramsci defines cultural hegemony. 
the Italian philosopher Antonio uh, Gramsci developed the concept of cultural hegemony out of Karl Marx's theory that the dominant uh, ideology of society re uh, reflects the beliefs and uh, interest of the ruling class. Gramsci argued that consent uh, the, to the rule of the dominant group is uh, achieved by the spread of ideology, belief, assumptions, and values through sociology, social institutions such as schools, churches, courts, and the media, among others. Important of cultural hegemony in two cultural studies. In 1970s, uh, cultural hegemony has been introduced to the field of cultural uh, studies by Raymond Williams and others. The play an important role in understanding Gramsci's questions. The cultural uh, studies aims to complete what uh, Gramsci has already proposed. In this sen sense, uh, cultural studies gives uh, Gramsci's theory of cultural hegemony a uh, final shape and applies it to other fields. The theory of hegemony in general and cultural hegemony in particular is of central importance uh, to the development of cultural uh, studies. Stuart Hall sheds uh, light on this by saying, I have said uh, enough to in, uh, indicate that in my view, that uh, uh, the line in cultural studies which attempted to uh, think forward from the best elements in the structuralist and culturalist enterprises by way uh, of some of the concepts elaborated in Gramsci's work comes closest to uh, meeting the requirements of the field of study. Uh, example of cultural hegemony. The most common example of hegemony can be observed uh, in the uh, uh, franchising and globalization of world uh, cuisines, uh, which involves franchises um, like KFC, Star Starbucks, McDonald's. Act. It also includes the practice of foreign com companies to produce products that uh, would sell well in the foreign markets. Now, conclusion. Uh, as it has been observed, cultural hegemony occupies a wide range of uh, interest in the field of cultural studies and post-colonial studies as well. Cultural studies tackles the theory of cultural hegemony according to Antonio Gramsci's uh, perception, perception of hegemony uh, within the fascist. Uh, this is my reference. I'm How the cultural hegemony is connected with Marxism? Yeah, uh, cultural hegemony are also connected with Marxism because uh, uh, hegemony is uh, uh, authority and uh, uh, power and uh, political uh, economics uh, connect with uh, superiority or the inferior. Uh, can you explain about Karl Marx theory on the lens of cultural studies? Uh, Karl Marx theory the, uh, is uh, um, uh, rela related be, uh, related to uh, is uh, uh, Antonio's theory uh, hegemony uh, both connected.
Yes, today your answers were quite appropriate to the point. You see? Hello everyone, this is the last day of presentation. I am Truvita Dhamelia. Today my topic of presentation is popular culture in cultural study. So I am going to deal with what is culture, what is cultural study and what is popular culture. According to Cambridge Dictionary, the way of life, especially the general custom and belief of particular group of people at a particular time. It is called culture. At one time, one culture, what is believed? That is their own culture. For example, she is studying modern Japanese language and culture. So for the girl, the Japanese language and Japanese language is her culture. This is one of the most ancient culture in the world. According to Britannica, what has been termed the classic definition of culture was provided by the 19th century English anthro anthropologist Edward Burn Taylor in the first paragraph was Primitive culture. Culture is the complex wall which include knowledge, belief, art, morals, law, custom, and any other capability and habits acquired by men as a member of society. Culture is something which is adopted by people or society or some particular class, which is called their own personal culture. Culture and everyone has a culture, but everyone doesn't have a civilization in the term of uh, cultural study. What is cultural study? In the cultural study is about the reading of the culture of society. It is not to praise society or culture. It is not about praising culture, but it is about to critic, make a critic of cultural culture, which is adopted by people. In the book of cultural study, as Patrick Brantiger has pointed out that cultural study is not a tightly coherent unified movement, which is fixed agenda, but a loosely coherent group of tendency issue and questions. Arising from the social terminal of 1960, cultural study is a compose of element of Marxism, post-structuralism, post-modernism, feminism, gender study, anthropology, sociology, race, ethnic study, film theory, urban study, public policy, popular culture study, and post-colonial study. In the cultural study, we can uh, involve every aspect of the society. In cultural study, we involve the social feminism, queer theory, every kind of theory and every concept we can uh, connect with the cultural study. For example, drawing from Ronald Barth on the nature of literary language and cloudless, cloudless straws on the anthropology. Cultural study was influenced by structuralism and post-structuralism. Jacques Derrida's deconstruction of the work, work distinction, like all his deconstruction of a hierarchy, opposition has urged on an unable culture critic to erase the boundaries between high and low culture. And popular literary texts and literature and other cultural discourse that flowing Derrida may be seen as a manifestation of the same textuality. What is popular culture? Who made a culture? We can say popular culture is a culture which is uh, you know, followed by the minority or the class of not elite people, but the low, we can say middle class people or the group of the large number of the people. Elite people, as we know that in India, elite people are the less number than uh, middle class people. So culture we became popular which uh, adopted by the middle class people or the large number of the people. Culture was influenced by smiles by mass media which permits the lives of social society. It has a way of influencing an individual's attitude towards certain topics. It is often viewed as being unimportant in order to find a concessional acceptance throughout the mainstream. As a result, it comes under heavy criticism from various religious and counterculture groups who believe it superficial, consume and censoristic and corrupt. Definition of pop uh, popular culture. In the article of Jamila Mohammed, the term popular culture, according to Oliver, can be referred as a, those things that we sh 
all share in a common through the mass media expose especially the internet and the tele television the mass media or the television or internet through spread anything such we can uh, call it a culture popular culture according to broman popular culture involves the aspect of social life most actively involved in the, by the public as a culture of the people we can say popular according to him popular culture is a culture which except the ma many people and many people are involved in this the cultural study is in this interdisciplinary field of study that involves understanding of culture through artistic and textual product like music film or book it also involves critical theory in india it concerned with the role of social organization in the shaping of a future Cultural study is combined study in different departments such as anthropology, sociology, art criticism, historiography, literary criticism, and criticism and philosophy. How popular culture de determined the who decide the culture should be popular or not? The in one regard culture culture as a way of determine defining oneself. It therefore needs to attract people in people's interest and pursue them to invest a. invest a part of themselves in culture if one want to make their culture popular they have they need power and in recent time we know that uh, in from history to recent time power is always in the hand of elite people so elite people who made a culture but for the made to spread their culture they have to listen to uh, middle class people or lower class people because they are in large number than uh, elite people today popular culture is something established by need a uh, user commercial products as as a music are considered popular even when the audience is a teen in a comparison to such a pop icons as a as a britney spear and michael jackson the michael jackson the presence of social media means consumer can speak directly to producer and the and our products themselves turning the concept of pop, popular culture on its head it is what a lot of people like we can say popular culture in today's time social media can decide the what is popular or not because in today's time we know that mass media is everything everything we can uh, came to know about social in uh, social media so whatever is uh, trending in recent time this is became the culture of present time mass media according to ashish basnet an over over op optimistic uh, op or uh, depolitized view of the consumption of media forms under the capitalist conditions mass media what is the mass media and how it is work first it according to jane liu first it must reach many people and second it requires the use of some technological device located between source and distribution mass media is something which is connected to technology connected with technology and located between source and destination according you know we know that from the history there is always a culture is from the history but now the culture is spreading in history we know that there is a pre in a time of pre agriculture there is a no internet or no mass media they are spreading their culture to sp spoken mouth to mouth they is uh, sharing their culture in a, after the some time there is a agriculture society they have a book but bo book be became the expensive and uh, book literature which is uh, not afforded by everybody literature became the only tool to afford on uh, literature written for the elite people or for entertainment of them but not for middle class people but in recent time we, we through mass media we get everything whatever uh, elite people can get we also have uh, this thing types of mass media in today's time there is a print media broadcast media outdoor and transit media digital media in the print media we uh, involve the newspaper ma magazine book and novels comic journal and publication in broadcast media films television and radio are involved outdoor media like billboard boarding poster and banners in digital media social media video platform websites mobile app e books broadcast and online radios in culture uh, in po popular culture have um, four main types production and analysis production analysis textual analysis audience analysis and historical analysis in production analysis who owns the media who create the text and why they are created these kind of question are in production analysis textual analysis is about examine how specific work of popular culture create or what is the meaning of it 
audience analysis in which uh, they get the what is the reaction of the audience after the reading this how it is affect to the people in historical analysis history is changing or or repeating or what in this uh, historical analysis this thing is in concern a picture is a worth of thousand in this picture there is a, a lot like mass media through they are getting everything in this one picture according to matthew arnold a cultural theorist in britain argued that matthew arnold is a is a uh, there is a two there is a two way of looking uh, at a uh, culture matthew arnold have a negative aspect towards the culture according to him whatever happen in history it is the right way of happening he follow he is a uh, pessimistic about the idea of culture or mass media he is not uh, following the idea of culture or promoting the idea popular culture in contemporary time india present us with uh, exclusive sites in terms of uh, dynamic of popular culture indian society is is a mix and multilingual in the smart makes difficult to every aspect of daily life and culture according to dharwadkar has said that india has a 150, 125 major language which belong to four different language language families as we know that india india have a many languages and uh, these mat many languages that doesn't that means they have many cultures also but the pop, in contemporary time through social media or mass media we came to know about the every culture of the every language or every society or every family or religion in indian context now the entire scenario has changed widely and in change in focus came about the cultural analysis due important has now been given to the culture of everyday life to the large number of people the artifact which were designed to hold inferior position now gain the significance in realm of cultural study who are the in uh, inferior uh, space now they are became uh, more powerful now we can say culture was made popular by the people who belong to middle class or local people or we can say not elite people as we know that in today's time uh, cricket and cinema is both the Uh, very famous culture everyone from the uh, any caste or any cult class they can uh, afford it or uh, have be part of it in indian cinema also we uh, can see the popular culture i only put a five movie uh, in first pink movie there we uh, see the feminism idea or the idea of a uh, uh, woman woman empowerment in the movie like shubhmangal jada san in which queer theory mary com the idea in a bol, uh, cine, in short in c- cinema we get a, every kind of information or the, uh, cultures uh, culture in this chart uh, the it's showing the how many people using social media and uh, social media platform and the uh, me- media and the user of conclusion there are many different definition of culture but culture has defined defined by the pers- uh, it not a perfect definition because it change by the culture or the by the society who is following or who is containing so these are my citation thank you in i have idea about one movie in recent time we have a movie pushpa which is uh, not that much i not about elite people but still it made it became famous because it's uh, like by the people m- middle class people because it is large number of the people or they can relate with the pushpa or kind of idea they like in this movie uh, another movie kgf also they like the, they promote this kind of idea but elite people has to in has to follow it because the number uh, middle class are large number than uh, elite people uh, 
uh, how can uh, popular culture be involved in social life uh, according to social life became popular culture whatever our life it is became culture and uh, if a large number of people follow it then it became popular so our social life is a popular culture Hello everyone, I am Tvani Rajaguru, role number 4 and today I am going to deal with practical reading of Othello as a part of cultural studies in which I am going to talk about both Othello and the relevant time. This is my personal information. Points, I am going to talk about Othello, uh, author, summary of Othello, the history and the relevant time. So who is William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare, also spelled as Shakespeare, by name Bad of Avon or Swan of Avon. He was born on April 26, 1564 in England and died on April 23, 1616 in Avon. He was an English poet, dramatist, actor and often called as English national poet. He is considered by many to the greatest dramatic of all the time and he has very unique place or position in the world literature. So summary of Othello. The play starts with in Venice. The Moorish general Othello, the protagonist, he secretly marries a noble man's daughter Desdemona. Othello and Desdemona are attempting to build a life together. But what happened, the relationship uh, is uh, and, uh, sub subartaged by envious friend Iago, who is the antagonist villain, who convinces, uh, convinces Othello that Desdemona is unfaithful to him. Othello is sent to defend the Iceland of uh, Cy Cyprus from Turkish invaders. Iago, uh, Iago tells him that the audience, uh, Iago tells that uh, the uh, Desdemona is having an affair with his uh, man, uh, Cassio. So, Othello thinks that he is having, uh, uh, her wife is having an affair with uh, Cassio. So, uh, finally believes Iago by the handkerchief of uh, Desdemona. And Othello smoothers Desdemona with a pillow. And Iago attempts to kill Cassio. However, Amelia, who is uh, Iago's wife, who exposes the plan, and then at the end part of the drama in the fifth act, uh, Othello kills himself and Iago is taken away to be tortured. Now, the points which I'm going to deal in this new historicist reading of Othello. The first, gender equality, racism, manipulation, jealousy, impulsive decisions and feminist reading. So, racism. 
as author virginia mason wogan notes that to talk about race in othello is inevitably to fall into some degree of anachronism while to ignore it is to efface something fundamental to the tragedy so as a result shakespeare's othello has been appropriated worldwide as a vehicle for the exploration of racial and ethnic tensions so in the opening scene iago refers to the othello as the thick lips in the first uh, act and later he raises a toast to the health of a black othello so here iago says that othello is black so through these the and other comments we learn that othello is a black african of sub saharan origin racism in, if i talk about today's time racism exists today as much as it existed in the 19th century many people solid colors in south africa for example the white government denied the blacks fundamental right that other citizen enjoyed so notably iago and rodrigo hate othello because of his complexion they refer to him usually as raci uh, racially discriminative names such as the moor or an old black rain so it is uh, written in text that even now now very now an old black ram is stooping your white eve so this was how iago described othello using racist slang and which seemed to be accepted by brabantio the father of uh, testimona so he deceived by iago and Ro rodrigo and started using less than ideal terms when regarding othello in the council therefore just as shakespeare wanted to enlighten his audience about the da danger of the racism today's audience also can benefit from this knowledge by reading or watching this play now manipul manipulation manipulation is a big part of othello so what happens that o othello uh, is having open mind and that's why everything is a result of manipulation iago controls his mind he poisonous his poisonous words infected othello's brain and slowly and gradually uh, iago controls othello's whole mind iago let his words misguided and deceived othello despite being an intelligent general one unyielding in the field of battle he let his human nature get the better of him the more is a free and open nature that thinks man honest that but seem to be so iago uses this kind of peer pressure to force cassio into making a mistake and to his satisfaction cassio took took the build iago's successfully many successful manipulation is credited towards his ob observation of his surroundings and adaptability to that certain situation and if i uh, if we take this in the relevant time in the relevant time polit politics the economy and the many other aspects of modern society all possesses aspect of manipulation Politi politicians rely on the propaganda unfulfilled promises and manipulation to obtain a status they desire through lies and deception they are able to manipulate the public and their followers to believe that they are right because of the politicians pre established position within the society so this was the same tactic iago used he was seen as the honest iago but actually he was not honest and reputable this allowed him to address othello with full con confidence in success the another factor is jealousy the play can also help eradicate jealousy from today's audience this society both people with the health behavior and those with the severe severe practices however none of them can be excuse exclusively good or bad so we can see that iago is very much jealous to the othello almost all the character in this othello play everyone are jealous of each other almost or so for example rodrigo is jealous of othello because he loves testimona he hires iago to do everything possible to make destimona stop loving othello but what eventually happened to rodrigo he was killed by iago then iago comes up with plan to divide othello and uh, his wife in the as a fact as a uh, factor of jealousy 
The story he concocts makes Othello apathetic. A situation that makes Iago refer to him as not suitable for his job. Chalice also make Othello kills Desdemona in the end. To and only then he realized that he was wrong and Desdemona was right. And therefore, we can learn that jealousy is dangerous in today's time also. Now, impulsive decisions. Othello is the character with uh, who don't use his brain that too much. He is too impulsive in taking decisions. The play can teach today's audience to stop being so impulsive in making decision. Often people make impulsive decisions due to obsession with some things in life. Such decisions mostly end up causing regrets rather than the desired expectation. So in the play, we can take example that many characters make impulsive decisions and that end up it tragically to satisfy. By their selfish intentions, for example, Rodrigo, without thinking about what might happen in case that failed, he says that that the uh, Iago who has had my purse. Othello also makes very impulsive decisions when he kills his wife. He thought that my wife is wrong, but later he regret about that. That he realizes that she was not infidel. Hence, today's audience, as a today's readers or audience, we can learn that we can be more patient and think logically. The feminist reading. Feminist critics highlight the ways Shakespeare portrayed gender roles. In Act 1, Scene 3, three Barbancio described his daughter Desdemona as a maiden never bold. Here we can say that Brabantio was not happy with the marriage of Othello and Desdemona, but still Desdemona wanted to uh, marry his love Othello and that's why she was firm and she ma did marriage. So she honors the patriarchal dictum that once married, the wife owes her husband the same respect due duty she had shown her father. Emilia too defers to her husband Iago's wishes even after she realizes the full extent to his uh, vill villainy. She says that least properly I obey him but not now. The gender inequality. We can also see that in today's time also. So perhaps one of the most prominent themes in Othello is gender inequality. The play exhibits how women were treated during the Elizabethan era, particularly through the interaction between Othello, Iago and their wives. Othello treats Desdemona decently, yet occasionally treats her as less or as belonging. Othello does not trust Desdemona the same way she trusts him. She loves him. So we can have the question that did he actually love her or he doesn't have uh, the trust on her. So undoubtedly all relationships are built using the trust L. So what was perceived here was Othello displaying arrogance and misplaced his trust. If only he had trusted his spouse instead of one of his officers, he would have soon realized the truth. There is also one, uh, uh, the dialogues uh, in there. So uh, Iago, how he treats her wife as a servant. Iago says that to have a foolish wife, e Emilia, his wife, says that, oh, is that all? What will you give me now for the same handkerchief? Iago says, what handkerchief? Emilia, what handkerchief? Why that the moor first gave to Desdemona? that with so often you did bid me steal. So here we can say that Emilia, she is on the right path, but Iago treat her not like a wife, but like a servant, like a slave. So from this conversation, we can uh, deduce that the type of relationship Iago has with his wife, he uses her to the benefit himself and Emilia real, really has nothing to say about it. She simply submits to Iago asserting himself as the dominating figure in the relationship. In the conclusion, we can say that the themes in the Othello are very relevant to the today's society. Shakespeare address racism, jealousy, consequences, consequences of impulsive decision, war and love in this play. So all these issues are in the common contemporary or we can see in the common contemporary world too. So this work has explored possible lessons today's audience that can learn from the jealousy or impulsiveness or racism among the Shakespeare's characters. These are my references. Thank you.
Uh, how does word pseudoscience describe racism influenced by history? Okay, so pseudoscience, how it describes the racism influenced by the history. So it deals with the uh, idea of the white people who are treating uh, black one very inferior, inferiorly. So this is the idea. How do you see inequality in the same time? Uh, in inequality is everywhere if we can observe that uh, gender in inequality I have talked in the presentation. So we still feel that in many marriages or uh, in uh, specifically arranged marriages or uh, we can say that husbands have the more power of house. They are the one who on wives don't have the permission to earn or she still has to art what what should what should i do what can i do so this can be seen in uh, today's time as I, I have my topic was the feminism uh, i told about that in yesterday also but we can observe that women still feel the gender inequality in contemporary time in like this it, whether it is a uh, commercial or a professional place or in the house Hello, good afternoon everyone. Today our last day presentation and he's my, uh, uh, I'm Janvi Naku and he's my topic is Harthan and he's uh, market and uh, Chaitan Bhagat and he's market. This is my personal details. What is uh, marketing? The marketing is a uh, activity set of the institution and a process of a cre uh, process for uh, creating community getting uh, a traveling and the exchanging of uh, uh, forming that have a value for customers, uh, clients, uh, uh, partners and society at large. Uh, purpose of, of marketing and types of marketing. Uh, marketing involve a business, uh, uh, different aspects such as a product development, advertising, sales and a deep distributions method that keep uh, uh, that key uh, purpose uh, of marketing is the get people in interest in the product or service of a company types of marketing 
इंटरनेट मार्केटिंग सर्च ऑफ एंजिन ऑटोमेशन ब्लॉग मार्केटिंग सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग इन प्रिंट मार्केटिंग सर्च एंजिन मार्केटिंग एंड वीडियो मार्केटिंग एंड अवर अवर टाइम इज यूज ऑफ द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग अनदर इज इन मोस्ट वेल्यूएबल मार्केटिंग स्किल्स इन 2020-22 तो इन इन मार्केटिंग द फर्स्ट इज कॉपीराइट सर्च एंजिन ऑप्टिमिज्म सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग ऑथोनाइजेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांस ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट डेटा एनालिसिस कन्वर्जेशन रेट ऑप्टिमिज्म्स गेटिंग एट डन अनदर व्हाट इज अ स्किल डू यू नीड फॉर मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन क्रिएटिव एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग अटेंशन ऑफ डिटेल्स लीडरशिप एंड एडेप्टेबिलिटी एडेप्टेबिलिटी एंड अनदर साइड इज टू हार्ड टू नीड स्किल ऑफ मार्केटिंग राइटिंग डेटा एनालिसिस एंड एनल एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट रिसर्च एस सी ओ एस सी एम सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग ईमेल मार्केटिंग विजुअल मार्केटिंग एंड वेबसाइट मैनेजमेंट सो फर्स्ट अबाउट द हॉर्थन एंड हिज वर्क सो हॉर्थन इज अमेरिकन नॉवेलिस्ट शोर्ट स्टोरी राइटर ने ही इज कंसिडर्ड टू अ रोमेंटिक मूवमेंट ही इज अ ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम द गोल्डन कॉलेज एंड ही इज अ फादर ही डाइन Uh, with her nathiel he was a very young and his mother had moved back in with her family his uh, so he is a uh, horthon uh, is a uh, two worlds horthon's uh, explorations of of his own personal fear during the middle third uh, middle third of the 19th century and the second of the american publishing at the uh, at the time he was uh, able to translate his uh, fear of a uh, failure and his uh, own unconsciousness uh, uh, demons into a classic theory of good and evil of a uh, hypocrisy in the societies and in the church ab uh, uh, in his horthon uh, related to uh, say to d h lower 11 years you must look at uh, on the uh, must look on the uh, surface of american art and see the inner the uh, blue lines of the symbolic meaning otherwise it, it is all manner childness that, uh, the, that blue eyes darling uh, nithels uh, new these agreeable things in his near near soul he was uh, careful to send uh, kimot his uh, discus his work a young a good man brown the uh, skeletal uh, scarlet letters the hollows of the three hills the devil uh, the devil in a uh, manuscript uh, mosos for the old man's the brithild romance another side uh, horthon why his market was down so he is uh, written a uh, many source uh, short stories and novels and uh, uh, many writing in the american so he is uh, written is a uh, high level language so do, do not uh, under, understand by the uh, normal people so uh, first reason is the language is uh, very high the second is the theme is not ex- uh, acceptable so in uh, uh, many uh, many of the uh, uh, in uh, his writing uh, uh, theme is evil uh, prob- uh, problem of guilt dark uh, darkness uh, blackness uh, blackness prides another uh, the third reason is the uh, american publish uh, publisher is uh, private uh, uh, workers by british writer and sell them cheaply another is uh, no international uh, copyrights and is uh, the last uh, reason is the uh, prose style made him more difficult to the read than the average people uh, popular author another side is uh, chetan bhagat uh, chetan bhagat is uh, indian uh, writer chetan bhagat uh, he is uh, became uh, he is uh, became to the delhi in a punjabi family in uh, 
in an uncreated uh, home environment where his uh, parents used to the fight a lot he is a father and uh, army officer he was the uh, strict he was not uh, allowed to watch television or films so chetan and his uh, brother used to make up uh, movie stories and perhaps that were this uh, tag to uh, writing all a uh, uh, cinegrams uh, uh, chetan bhagas Uh, attend to the army public school in 1958 and 1991 uh, dhula ke new delhi he studies uh, he he study his uh, mechanical engineer at the indian institute of technology iit delhi and then uh, study at the indian institute of management and law his uh, work uh, five point someone uh, what not to do at iit to, uh, 2004 one night at the call center 2005 at the three mistakes of my life 2008 to state the story of my marriage 2009 revolution 2020 love uh, corp- uh, corporations ambition 2011 what a young indian what wants half girlfriend 2014 represently his works why his market is up so uh, chetan bhagat write to the uh, many novels so he how to market so first is how to see the book uh, smartly second he is uh, not writing novel but is writes novel so uh, he is uh, he is write to to, uh, uh, to the many novels uh, and he is uh, smartly uh, 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 smartly marketing by the social media uh, uh, social media many platforms and uh, uh, news channels and another uh, to uh, who uh, he go and uh, uh, he go and mark, uh, marketing his book youth is a central theme in his all uh, his book has uh, given some messages no uh, complex sentence no heavy language use and a style of a uh, promit uh, promit work in a movie based on uh, uh, movie based on books uh, so many uh, books are based uh, on movies the first is chetan bhagat the three mistake of my life and his movie koi uh, koi uh, po che uh, sorry kai po che uh, chetan bhagat five point someone three idiots half girlfriend uh, chetan bhagat uh, his movie and chetan bhagat two state and his uh, movie uh, two state uh, two state in movie uh, two cultural families another use of social media how to uh, market his uh, 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 twitter uh, youtube channels and his uh, facebook uh, five things about uh, product marketing uh, forms uh, chetan bhagat so first is uh, there is uh, no such thing as bad uh, publicity revenue does not care if it come from shameless uh, self promotions create your own uh, marketing uh, deliver your product and uh, communication to your uh, audience go for the low hang- uh, hanging fruit uh, grab the easy to acquire uh, customers first Uh, conclusions after reading reading this entire thing we can conclude that in the comparisons of both writers we come to know that the types of book readers want to the read chetan bhagat is a very famous among the people through his writing style he write a very uh, short book in his uh, book we not uh, found highly morality we found in a one uh, uh, one a uh, sense uh, he write or give some message he book a uh, written in simple language he also good marketing skill uh, perhaps another way to the horthan write a bulky book full of uh, moral message and uh, he is book a uh, very high uh, very costly and not uh, easily available in market so how to people can read the book uh, that way uh, chetan bhagat is a uh, famous in india is website
do you find any similarities between both marketing style of both the writers if yes then what no uh, i am no found in both the writers in a marketing similarity because uh, uh, horthan uh, uh, writing is a highly language uh, and the another side is uh, chetan bhagat is uh, language is uh, 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 so uh, re uh, readers who do under understanding his message to no uh, no similarity of both uh, the writers i am read and not uh, both similarity in marketing uh how why how, how thrones market is down in which you have explained the last point that style made him more difficult to read, read than the average popular author so can you throw the light on his writing style a hey, uh, horthan uh, horthan market was uh, down in a uh, last i'm re reason uh, 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 made in him more difficult to read than uh, average uh, popular author uh so uh, his uh, writing style is uh, highly language and he used uh, uh, theme is uh, writing uh, to the uh, uh, to the popular uh, popular author and he is writing his uh, different use of theme not understanding to the normal people he is uh, is read the book uh, uh, he is uh, read the style his understanding uh, of the another uh, another author uh, compared uh, compared to the horthan and his uh, his uh, time authors so, uh, not uh, to the not the uh, understanding by the themes uh, uh, themes and his style Okay, by the time uh, the next one gets ready, a few observations on the presentations that we have seen. Okay. Yeah, this was Amina. So uh, this this is a good slide. This is a good beginning also. Uh, content and other thing is a good idea. So if those who are not making uh, planning the presentation properly, you can get this idea. Uh, and uh, then when you look at you have to justify your paragraphs your paragraphs are uh, let me share a screen yeah. so this is a, a, a good title slide this is a good table of content you can do one idea that you can link this thing so when you're talking about first point you click on that you go when that topic ends uh, there is a link to come back to table of content. Then again, you click second point and then you go that way. You can uh, harmonize the things uh, also. Uh, but this uh, justifying paragraph, uh, when the paragraphs are given, it should be justified. So the way you see left panel line near the margin, right hand side, side also, uh, it should be justified paragraph. <clears throat> And a little bit organized, eh? bold, then bold, then without bold, then that title ownership. If it is a subtopic or subtitle or a paragraph title, then it should be bigger font. That organization eh, of slides is necessary eh, in this. And this is not centralized. Eh? Resources uh, or work cited is a better word rather than resources. Uh, it is not center it is always on the left hand side that way you have to put that with hanging paragraph style uh, left hand side margin with hanging paragraph style okay uh, are hanging paragraph style soon no samjha khali lakhi lejo pachi google kare ne joi lejo ke hanging paragraph style shu kevai so you will get an idea it is automatically done in word also by paragraph setting 
but that is the right uh, way uh, of doing you will see if we will get anywhere there okay then uh, this was uh, one is one okay uh, that was a uh, fine the slides were uh, quite good this organization and other things some use of graphics okay was there the paragraph is justified here so the fonts are very small text heavy too text heavy and that should be it. this is a good one you put an image and the text but there is still lot of lots of text here eh? that is to be uh, reduced uh, uh, otherwise it is fine yeah this also is fine you use quote and then you explain okay uh, but you were not able to give proper answers to the questions eh? so the, whether even though pseudoscience was a word used in your slide then also you were not able to justify it properly mm, ah yes dhruvita uh, now you should like uh, follow the same pattern uh, of making slides eh? dhruvita is there yeah so same pattern so like we have seen earlier one that uh, this is uh, completely black then it is white coming there then uh, there is a different color here used here is a different color so and, and this also uh, here uh, now this uh, white color background this was in your yesterday's presentation this doesn't look good so uh, it is better like in the first slide you have done black slide than white font yeah, this is okay but this is not okay where you put a black a white background and then black color font so this was found in a few other presentations also so you have to remove uh, this background behind the line or background of the fonts should be removed other slides are okay yeah. this is good you use image and other thing that is good slide this also is good uh, this is justified paragraph but fonts are very small that you need to take care of this is indented paragraph yeah? this is what i am telling hanging paragraph style this is how hanging paragraph style looks okay? first line near the margin all other lines pushed back opposite to traditional paragraph in traditional paragraph first line is pushed back all other lines are near the margin Yes, okay. So we're talking about this uh, example. So when you refer to uh, any of the material, they might have given examples from their context. We have to recontextualize those illustrations uh, in our surrounding. And when you are talking about cultural studies, you are studying contemporary uh, everyday life. So how do you see those things in uh, our society? That is very, very important. If that connection is not done, then the study of cultural 
the like cultural studies will be will remain incomplete uh, uh, also uh, if you are not fail to do that mm, uh, janvi you have made this uh, uh, your title had a problem title before you upload online you see the title i am sharing here what is the error are you able to find yes can you find the mistake in the title which spelling market no yes uh, hawthorn and his market not marky yeah? so before you upload the slide you check this okay so uh, uh, have you connected with wi fi there len is connected working now okay okay then you can start now is it is hello friends good evening uh, my uh, pre uh, today's presentation topic is cyber feminism and techno techno culture this is my information what is cultural study so cyber feminism and techno culture we study under under the uh, discipline uh, culture cultural study that cultural study is interdisciplinary field they, uh, which concern uh, uh, several discipline like uh, 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 and also uh, that disciplines under that disciplines uh, there is the very uh, uh, vital role uh, which played by power where in that feminism feminism or where, where in, in uh, uh, post structuralism or uh, anything that uh, uh, when i'm talking about uh, here is uh, cyber feminism and uh, cultural study is a uh, relatively new interdisciplinary field of study which came into being in uh, uk after uh, post uh, post war and uh, it emerged uh, of uh, perceived uh, uh, necessity on the part of two uh, two founding figures uh, uh, raymond william and richard hogart it uh, came to uh, uh, fr uh, fresh uh, it it is uh, came to uh, uh, in circumstances that as its uh, third founding figure stuart hall what is uh, cyber feminism so uh, cyber feminism is uh, is is the study of a uh, feminist idea within the uh, relationship between gender and technology so uh, uh, what what are uh, what are the argument arguments of uh, feminist uh, theory uh within that uh, technology uh, technological aspect and te technological practice uh, or within that system of knowledge uh, about uh, technology uh, then what uh, uh, cyber culture uh, cyber feminism uh, is ob observe cyber culture as revo revolutionary because uh, now nowadays as, as we studying cultural study so uh, cyber feminism is very mixed uh, discourse so of uh, uh, cyber feminism is a studying relationship and and cultures so it uh, six ways to link feminism with contemporary uh, contemporaneist projects likewise and uh, they uh, invite they welcomed uh, femi uh, feminist uh, artist uh, in the in that cyber cyber culture and uh, uh, this project is very uh, very much connected uh, sexualized and uh, uh, sexualized to provoking uh, in uh, when looking to 
talking about that uh, uh, cultural studies and cyber feminism so what contemporary uh, thing that found that recently uh, in, in uh, uh, metaverse uh, uh, recently one uh, uh, la uh, lady that uh, come to know ab uh, uh, about that she is harassed uh, in that metaverse uh, universe so even uh, even we uh, even females are not secure in uh, uh, without technology that that is their tradition and convenience that uh, uh, in uh, people's uh, in that argument but what in technology that technology seems that it is uh, it is it is very uh, process um, it is a uh, uh, large and uh, uh, very progressive uh, thing for females also but here in metaverse what uh, what is, what uh, this incident is come that she is harassed within 16 second so uh, where is that security of uh, females so cyber feminism in cultural studies is a study of revolutionary but uh, talk, uh, talking about in uh, contemporary it is uh, seems like that uh, uh, in technology uh, in technology also females are not So, uh, a further topic is techno uh, pointed that contemporary critical theory has had uh, to nego negotiate with massive environment, uh, environmental disaster with with technology within technology. So, uh, as uh, we know, 1911 uh, uh, 1911 incident uh, that uh, terrorist attacked uh, uh, in uh, uh, WTO tower. So. Um, uh, they, they, uh, that contempt uh, after that incident, uh, uh, what uh, what uh, people th uh, think that that uh, technology is uh, seems uh, under that fear. So uh, after that te uh, terrible attack uh, uh, within that, so what kind of the uh, equipments are used uh, in that attack? Or uh, we can see that nowadays. Uh, uh, bombs or uh, mobile bombs also that uh, uh, just go uh, uh, easily connected with the, is there is a risk uh, uh, or is there is threatened thing because of te technology is increased uh, so uh, uh, we uh, live in an incre uh, increasingly technolo technologized world so global uh, capitalism while talking uh, global capitalism uh, we uh, we come to know about what uh, America or capital countries are uh, doing, or capital countries are uh, very much uh, reach to um, reach to develop uh, these these uh, um, equipments uh, of uh, the technology uh, technology equipments to use uh, uh, violence for use violence for uh, use uh, disaster uh, and uh, to uh, destroy. Uh, 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 another uh, countries. So, uh, industrial society is based on uh, on the production and distribution of goods, which uh, so uh, technoculture is uh, uh, industrial society is connected with technoculture. So, uh, 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 industrial society makes uh, go, uh, make goods to fill scarcity within the society so uh, they, uh, it seems that that there is something that uh, need for, for our country so uh, go and uh, make uh, make that equi equipments so as we uh, also know that uh, uh, several uh, 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 air force uh, or uh, in that equipments we bring from uh, uh, other con capitalist uh, country so as long as risk is secondary to scarcity so uh, risk there is uh, there is the fulfillment of uh, if a go, uh, nation is going to full uh, uh, feed feed that uh, uh, scarcity so uh, behind that scarcity there is always that risk even in uh, using uh, social media also so uh, what what about that safety that uh, uh, ultimately safety lies in uh, acquiring newer uh, merchandise 
project uh, products so uh, uh, if uh, uh, we going to use uh, uh, some uh, what uh, google uh, pro uh, produced something uh, some product so uh, they alarming us the, that the, there is risk and uh, the, there is uh, you, you should save from this so uh, this safety is that so even uh, increasing the easier access to information and the internet risk of realizing confidential information so uh, using credit cards numbers and residential addressed by children via uh, uh, via uh, the internet is also a risking thing so risk theory is by uh, early uh, early back and uh, risk theory is uh, for uh, cultural study is reveals the extent that society or culture thrives on risk so providing information about risk potential possible solution and so on so uh, the pro there is first a re risk within that solution and uh, solution is that be uh, uh, because further th there will be risk so risk theory reflects on psychosocial impact of techno uh, culture uh, where culture uh, cultural response responses to new devices are based upon an awareness that they create new risk this is my work citation thank you So, uh, can you tell something more about the newer merchandise product, like how that is connected with cyber feminism? So, uh, new merchandise products, uh, like uh, uh, even uh, we uh, see that uh, uh, there, uh, Eric, uh, Alexa, uh, Alexa is uh, that I read one incident that uh, Alexa uh, using Alexa. And what Alexa feels uh, something that uh, uh, insecure or something that uh, uh, narrowing thing uh, within that house. So uh, 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 cyber uh, feminism in uh, in that that we can say that uh, technology uh, is there is there and uh, na uh, naming and coding of a female character uh, in that. So uh, even if uh, their uh, their th uh, th their using of uh, merchandise products uh, is also uh, being uh, uh, being under that uh, being under that uh, what they uh, feel uh, insecure divya my question is is cyber feminism changing gender inequality via information technology according to you cyber feminism discourse is uh, not changing uh, again uh, according to me it, it is not changing uh, gender equality because feminism itself uh, provoking uh, the theory that uh, that is uh, uh, that is the side of uh, feminist ideas and uh, theories so uh, uh, cyber feminism is actually uh, raised this idea in more technical way because te uh, technology uh, is uh, something that uh, that for females it, it is uh, that uh, that no females are not doing well with technology as we know, know that uh, ICT day is uh, also uh, celebrated for girls so uh, why this uh, is uh, 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 why th uh, this uh, thing is uh, uh, ce uh, celebrating because uh, they uh, increasing uh, that equality in gender uh, biases. There is a comment by Prakruti, but uh, so we can refer to that comment also. Is it Wi Fi or LAN? Uh, by automatically, Wi Fi is not connected. No? Yes. 
because the image coming is very blurred one. All the Wi Fi's are disconnected. Sometimes automatically, when this LAN is disconnected, it connects Wi Fi. So, It is uh, hanging there again. The image is not coming from there. So then the data you have to change because quota might be over. We have this quota limit. No, but what is the quota there? Two GB only. You know, we asked to join DP Barad in the morning because there is less quota. It takes one hour in. That's why I have shared that image about quota. So you can understand that when you are doing this, how much quota is required for uh, this. So 5 GB was there, that might be over, so it is disconnected. Wi-Fi might be connected. No? This is Wi-Fi connected, no? Here. This, this will disconnect. Because the image is not clear. Wi-Fi, you never get a clear image. Here the quota comes and normally in this live streaming it takes 1 GB per hour. Check, check this, this quota, quota afterwards. After, After some time, you have to check this page when you get reflected. What, what is, is the bandwidth quota? In, In normal connections, one GB is given. given. So a, a few days back, I shared one image in the WhatsApp group with what is the quota. Uh, and in, I think in the another group, I discussed that. That, uh, that you should be like uh, aware about that technicalities also, that how much data is consumed. Even when you are using mobile phone or laptop, how much data is consumed in various usages. That if it is aware, then you can make your choices, decisions. You can plan things in advance that you, if you're planning to do some online activities, then how much data at the end of the day you will require and that you are aware about. So uh, here also, like when we do live streaming, how much data, so if the bandwidth quota is 2 GB, then after two hours, you'll have to change another network. And if it is more, then it is fine. Otherwise you require multiple login IDs 
in the university setup and uh, uh, lan will be the fastest the wifi will never be as faster as lan uh, when you want to deal with live streaming and other things there will always be this blurring of image in wifi connections wireless connections are never as fast as uh, the wired connections hello everyone today is last uh, last presentation uh, my topic is about new historicism what is new historicism a method on the parallel reading of literary and non literary text usually of the same time period a new historicism is school of literary theory which what is that word actually pronounce it slowly which one न्यू हिस्टोरिकिज्म न्यू हिस्टोरिकिज्म नहीं न्यू हिस्टोरिकिज्म इज अ स्कूल ऑफ लिटरेरी थियोरी विच कंबाइंस क्रिटिकल थियोरी इनटू इजियर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर एकेडमिक लिटरेरी थियोरिस्ट ऑफ द नाइनटीन नाइन Ninety book. Uh, the book of Renaissance self fashioning from Moore to Shakespeare in nineteen eighty. Uh, the influence of theory of Michael Foucault uh, in new new historicism. Historicism. A uh, new historicist asks, how was the event been interpreted, and how do the interpreters? so new uh, historicism recites the nation that history is a se series of events that have a linear causal relationship uh, if event uh, a caused b event b and event b caused event c and uh, so on uh, it's called by tyson a uh, new historicist are a uh, stephen uh, greenblatt uh, j w lever uh, jonathan uh, dolima and wizard a uh, stephen uh, stephen green blet uh, he was born in 7th november in 1943 uh, he is one of the founders of new uh, new historicism a set of critical practice that he often refer, uh, refers to a culture po cultural poetics uh stephen green blet uh, he first developed in his work in 1980 after afterwards uh, it goes on uh, spreading during the same decade he wrote in his book will uh, will of the world and contest uh, is replaced by cortex that is an inter uh, interrelated uh, non literary text from the same time period a uh, new historicism and shakespeare a uh, shakespeare's play merchant of uh, of venice uh, uh, and that the question always raised that the play shows shakespeare to be anti uh, semitic according to historic historic uh, historicist work must be judged in the context in which it was written studying uh, the history reveal more about the next text uh, studying the text reveals more about the history Uh, there are the futures of new historicism uh, it plays the literary text within the frame of non literary text historical documents are uh, not uh, subordinate as context but also and also called uh, and treated as a cortex the text and the cortex are seen as exper expression of same historical movements and the equal weights to literary text uh, it uh, it is a, a, a pro, an approach to literary uh, literature in which there is no privilege privileging of uh, the literary uh, this is the basic concept of new historicism the basic con concept of a new hit, a new historicism is that in literary studies the, the actual thoughts feelings or intention of a writer can never be co covered or reconstructed so the uh, so the real uh, living individuals uh, is now entirely uh, suspected by the literary text 
new history uh, historyism accepts derrida's view, uh, views on nothing outside of texts a uh, new new history season is uh, about the wor worlds of past and historical uh, historical uh, is about the wor worlds of the past uh, these are the advantages and uh, dis uh, disadvantages of new history season although it is founded upon post structural structuralist thinking but it is uh, written in far more as sensible uh, accessible post structural uh, structuralism uh, dense style and vocabulary the material itself uh, itself is most fascinating fascinated thing uh, than context of literary studies it avoids the problems frequently and corrected in straight marx uh, marxist criticism it uh, it seems less overtly uh, polemical and more willing to allow the historical uh, evidence its own voice uh, this is a difference between old and new uh, new historicism uh, old old historicism uh, historicism is uh, followed the hierarchies and the new historicism is followed the parallel reading uh, Uh, all historicism a uh, history uh, historical movement it creates a historical framework in which to place the text and the other side the new historicism is a uh, theory uh, theorist movement it interested in the history as a represented and recorded in written documents history as a text uh, all all historicism is the world of the past replace the world's worlds of the past and the uh, other side new historicism is the in this aim uh, is not represent the past as it really uh, really uh, was but no present a new reality by resituating uh, it uh, it all uh, all historicism is a uh, its text is primarily uh, primarily concerned and in this uh, in uh, in history in new history history is uh, culture is primarily concerned uh, in uh, old history uh, historicism uh, history is true and the other side new historicism uh, history is not a true uh, old historicism uh, uh, in history is secondary secondary concern fact center and the other side text text is uh, secondary concern a conclusion uh, thus the new critic criticism is nothing but the word of the past replace the, the word of the past uh, or the aim is not to represent the past as it really uh, really was but to present a new reality by resituating it so i think this is my reference Kushbu, my question is: Which work, as in example of new historicism, the 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 tempest uh, is example of uh, new historicism? Ah, uh, is, is that uh, fact? Uh, new historicism is a uh, uh, is a, a, st a struggle. Ah, uh, is is power or uh, power struggles within a uh, within a uh, social uh, so social uh, social sty styles uh, which uh, uh, which uh, 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 in a uh, temp in the play of the play tempest which affected to the affected to the people and how uh, how he and how he uh, rebel against it and the tempest is a uh, example uh, we, uh, 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 the tempest is a uh, uh, full of uh, struggle uh, play and uh, the example uh, of uh, uh, caliban and uh, prosper Okay. Uh, which example have we studied under new historicism in your syllabus? Uh, 
which was the example do you remember that yes we yeah. movie we and uh, ramlila sanjay bansal is okay that was the additional material in your text in your syllabus what was the material which text was given as an example shakespeare mm -hmm. no another one anybody else can yes renesa no in your in your syllabus which text we have discussed as a part of new historicism yes who then yes frankenstein no and the topic of new historicism in your study material yes hamlet no that is in power conflict in your study material you okay anybody can check and put in the comment check in the study material and put in the comment yes next question is yes kushbu uh, uh, as you uh, differentiate uh, differentiate uh, this old historicism and uh, new historicism so uh, why old historicism is true and new historicism is not true all all histor historicism is based on uh, true uh, on a uh, time and uh, the uh, in the uh, past events of uh, history and the new historicism in uh, is not true because of uh, the other addition uh, include uh, include the by the uh, author in uh, history in the past events gulliver's travels laputa example uh, we have discussed uh, in the study material hmm. Hmm. so in a uh, new historicism like you require to have substantial documents like there was study of letters diaries uh, so each and every text is a history and history is text so with the help of that uh, one can make argument on that Visible. Visible. Okay. So my topic is uh, power in cultural studies, and uh, these are my personal information. And for that, it is very important to understand uh, understand that what is uh, culture. so according to oxford dictionary culture is the art and other manifestation of human intellectual achievement regarded collectively and the second definition given by oxford dictionary is culture is the ideas customs and social behavior of particular people or society then one another definition is given by edward butler uh, burnett taylor and that is culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge belief art morals law custom and any other capabilities and habits acquired by men as a number of society and 
to know more about the culture i have given link here uh, of one video that you can refer uh, uh, for uh, knowing more about the culture now let us move further for, to what is cultural studies so according to oxford dictionary cultural studies are the critical analysis of the text and part practice of everyday life in contemporary society and interdisciplinary enterprises involving both the human humanities and the social science also we find that the core idea of cultural study is to look into social organization and to study as well known uh, as well as con construction of their everyday life and uh, this cultural concept of cultural study was originated and developed by british Mar marxist academics <laughs> in late 1915th century 1916 and 1917th uh, century then we can also say that cultural uh, study is also related with uh, with so many fields like the field of feminism marxism anthropology and structuralism and post colonialism social theory political theory history philosophy and many more uh, uh, subjects are related with the cultural studies and there are four main goals we can take uh, of cultural study and that is interdisciplinary means of production political engagement uh, engagement and deny uh, separate cultural study denies separation of high and low and elite and popular then now what is power in cultural study so when we are uh, when we are discussing about the power in cultural studies it is very important to understand that what is power so according to oxford dictionary power is the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular one particular way the another definition is the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of event power is uh, power is a central uh, we can say central concept in cultural studies uh, and uh, we can say that uh, society we are we are uh, discussing about cult uh, cultural studies right so society is uh, we can say are coming in the center so society is all about power position the, where one is ruling and the another another all are obliging them so now i have taken forces which are holding the power in society so first is the physical force uh, we can say that uh, those who are who are more capable physically and um, ruling over the weak personality or we can say those who are not capable physically for that we uh, we can also uh, take reference of man woman conflict that we have patriarchy so patriarchal society then why why we are male have male dominated society or patriarchal society because men are we can read in a way that men are more capable physically so they are at in the power and the women are in the uh, women are obli obliging them so they are in the power they are more physically more uh, capable so they are uh, in the power for that uh, concept we can take example of movies like kabhi khushi kabhi gham in that we have seen that uh, that amitabh bachchan is uh, is the head of the family or we can say uh, her wife and her daughter in laws are obliging them they are uh, falling under them so he if he denied that okay my son i am not allowing my son to uh, marriage uh, the muslim girl whom whom i don't want to be my daughter in law so uh, he her his wife is also not able to that we can say that uh, uh, restrict that um, i want that daughter i want that daughter in law in my in in house even if they have they both have equal uh, we can say right of on their house or we can say equal uh, partnership that woman and man there we find that patriarchy is working and throughout the movie we find that they are suffering for, from separation that mother uh, mother son uh, separation and all these things and at the end when uh, amitabh bachchan accept them uh, them then only they are allowed to go to go back to their home uh, another uh, movie i have taken is bajirao mastani so in that also we find that kashibai and uh, kashibai and uh, mastani both are uh, Uh, the we can say one is wife and one is uh, uh, that lover of bajirao mastani and even if bajirao uh, sorry bajirao fall 
in love with mastani and bring her in in their house in his house uh, kashibai is not able to restrict them because we can read it like that she is physically uh, a weak character and the ba ba bajirao is more capable than him so he is not able to uh, we can say refuse him or we can say uh, uh, him to restrict him of doing that what he is doing the second thing i have taken a is the wealth the force of wealth in society so those who have more money can are holding the power in the society and the culture so uh, we have that narration that money can buy anything and that narration is time and again coming in our movies and in our um, the one and another way in our culture so we have seen that movie that the movie ish in that there are four uh, four friends two girls and one uh, uh, two boys two one girl and one boy is from upper class and the another two one uh, one girl and one boy is from lower class so they four are falling in uh, love with each other for example the poor poor boy fall in love with the rich girl and a uh, rich boy fall in love uh, love with the poor girl and and the father of that rich person that both girl and boy are not uh, want to marry their son and daughter to that poor guy so they are all the way by using their money are trying to torture that poor girl and boy we find in movie that they are assigned police and give money to them to uh, harass harass that poor boy and girl and throw them and force them to leave that city and all the all the way they are uh, because they have money they have wealth they are in the power and that poor people are in are in the uh, um, under them they are suffering so how that we see that those who have power can uh, can have a right to not right but we can say they are have capability to suffer other also the second we, we i have taken some dialogues from various uh, movies and the novel that is showing that what is the importance in uh, uh, what is the importance hold uh, money holding in our society or culture so the first is uh, taken by the great gatsby uh, f scott fitzgerald uh, gets uh, great gatsby he says that you need wealth the more the better to win over the object of your desires so it is showing that if you want to uh, buy the obje object that you have desire or if you want something then money is the is is at the top money is must required without money you can do nothing so money is in the power then the second is uh, uh, imran hashmi's dialogue in murder to movie murder to that bhagwan ke pehle ya baad mein agar koi cheez hai to wo hai dhan daulat rokda imandari ka certificate nahi and the second dialogue is from sanjay dat uh, the movie agni path 2012 aaj ke jeevan ka dusra naam hai rokda paisa maal so we are we here we see that how wealth the dominance of wealth or we can say the power of wealth is time and again coming in our movies in one and another way now see this capitalist uh, system in capitalist system also we find that money is at the top and then uh, in the bottom the king or government then in, uh, under them there there is a law then the military then the upper class and working class so at the top there is a money and uh, working class is at the bottom so we find that how what is the importance of money in culture in our culture or we can say uh, the power of money now the third thing is state action so uh, each state uh, state has several uh, special powers power for example power of law and the government they they are holding several kind of power and all other people that are the normal people or we can say uh, the re regional people have to follow that law or uh, that uh, government orders they are not able to uh, disobey them and if they are disobeying them then they are pushed to punish, punish. so we here i have taken example uh, of 1984 that how state uh, state are controlled that government are controlling people or how this power the the people that are uh, they are in the power in the state state position they are controlling people or harassing people so in 1984 by george orwell uh, this dialogue is uh, this uh, statement is coming that power is in the tearing human minds to peace uh, uh, put uh, peace and putting them together again in new shape of your own choosing 
so this is showing that if you are in the power you have you have that capability to um, um, to make people think in in a way you want to make them think in a way that you are passing something uh, role or if you are if you are putting some statements and you are influencer and they are become influence this is how it is state action are working uh, uh, here i also take one one more example of the film nayak there we find if you see this poster the politician is saying uh, this hero to say uh, to keep silence when he is when he raise uh, uh, that uh, voice against him he make them make him silence so, so this we can uh, we can say that how state are uh, making them sil uh, making silent or we can say uh, suppressing uh, those who are raising the voice and punishing them so in the movie we find that when uh, that one day the one day of um, uh, we can say this hero nayak is become one day's uh, state government holding the position of state government so what he, he done everything good to everybody people used to start start like liking him in just one day but after that one day what happened that um, he his uh, house was broke broke down by uh, this politician also the electricity connection and uh, water connection are cut off um, to their house and this how this politician are uh, we can say harassing him Th throughout that in the first part of movie we find that that how state action is working those who are raising the voice are forced to uh, um, forced to suppress suppress them in in this second poster also you find that if you don't have that mind or we can say don't have intelligence and still if you have you are in the power position you everyone can listen you everyone will listen you so that you find that a monkey sitting in the power position and the other all the humans or we can say that are those all are listening him now the fourth is social norms so we find that we all are living in this society and from childhood we have it it is teach it is taught to us like how how we have to behave how we have to um, how we have to uh, speak and what are social norms we have to follow certain behaviors and so social norms and rituals uh, all everything we have uh, we have to it is taught to us by our elders so we find that here elders or we can say those who are teaching us are the are in the power and the another those who are learning are in the um, uh, le in the bottom so there we find that if we are uh, dare we or anyone can daring to go against the social norms and thoughts and behavior then they are just we can say punished in a way that they are uh, defamation uh, and insult they have to face that certain kind of defamation and insult in that we we have taken example of intercaste marriage for example in many castes it is uh, not allowed or we can say it is taught that we have to marry in our same caste but if someone from that caste are daring to marry intercaste they have to face that punishment they are thrown out of their caste or we can say society uh, and they have to suffer that mental trauma and all these things so how they are at that time they are become at the bottom and those who are suffering who are giving this that suffering they are become at the power positions they are holding the power positions in our culture then the ideas those who have this uniqueness of ideas are in the power and the other ones that have the uh, that do, they are not able to think in creative creatively the, those are become in the lesser position so here we can take that very famous hindi proverb that uh, that akal badi abhans those who have this uniqueness or those who have ideas or richness of ideas can be at the power position here we take example of website makers for example this whatsapp and uh, whatsapp facebook and all the website makers that how they are they have their uniqueness they make something that people attracted towards them and they are started following them now uh, we have that example recent example when uh, a few uh, months or we can say uh, weeks before whatsapp one day suddenly stopped working that for whole one day and 
they we all are waiting that why it is not working we are trying and we are doing something so if those who are handling that whatsapp they, those who are at the power position uh, because they have the I richness of ideas he make that website so he has that richness and we are all waiting that we are following them that that when she he again start uh, and again open that that uh, system of working in whatsapp and also social media users we find that many social me media influencers and other we are following them we are following them because they are uh, giving something new to us they are just well, we can say um, they have this idea uniqueness of ideas so they are giving new and all others are following and imitating them so they are in the power and other are imitators now numbers so we have that import uh, that importance of mass that if people are come together uh, in a large numbers they are become the power and um, can win anything or we can say uh, make anyone agree to do whatever they want now we have this uh, three laws of power the first is power is never static this we can come to know that in indian uh, we can say indian political uh, system that every five after every five year there is a political parties are changing uh, got change so uh, this we the uh, through that we say that power is never static it is again time and again changing with one to another another to another, another to a third person for example here we also say that if the teacher is teaching to the student then the teacher are in the power a teacher is in the power and then the student become uh, the under them under them but when we find that that student only become collector or something else then when teacher has to something uh, something to do then they has to go to they has to go to that student then student are become in the power and the teacher have to uh, Please, please them or we can say something to uh, that make that procedure to do whatever they want power is like water it is same like it is flowing or it is a flow uh, it is uh, uh, working in the flow and the third one is power is compounds so this is all about my ppt thank you and these are my citations Uh, yes, Himanshi, as you uh, mentioned in that uh, point under uh, money, so money can buy anything. So is uh, there uh, any connection with the corporate world? And directly, it is not, I don't think that it is connected directly, but it is indirectly we can connect it like uh, um, that money can buy anything is it, it is working with a corporate world for example uh, corporate or we can take example of share bazaar right in the share bazaar there is one person uh, it is all about share that one day the share is reach higher than the one person get richer the another day that, that share is falling down and the person person get poor so we can connect it with uh, connect it with like uh, that money can buy anything it is not working in that con in that concept that for example we can take that in great gatsby also we find that uh, gatsby want to uh, want to marry that that girl but he is not able because she is already married so he is not able to marry the girl who is already married so in that concept he even if in the corporate world he is at the top or he is very rich he is not able to get anything so uh, I, on indirectly i cannot find that money can buy anything is is appropriate in corporate world also corporate world is something that is um, that is uh, in the second everything like get changed or we can say happen what happened we we don't know Manji, according to you, what is more important, knowledge, uh, importance of knowledge and knowledge power or wealth? Why? 
uh, according to me uh, knowledge is more important uh, than the wealth for example because i have also mentioned in my slide that those who have the idea that richness of idea can uh, can uh, get wealth also we uh, we can take example of this whatsapp and facebook also they have make that website or we can say that social media and on uh, um, we can see lots of money from that so if you have that richness of idea you can make money so you don't have to choose wealth you have to choose a richness of idea Now is visible. Hello everyone. Today is the final day of presentations, and uh, I am presenting the American multiculturalism. This is my personal information. And first, we have look up the what is the cultural studies. The word culture itself so difficult to pin down. Cultural studies are hard to define. As Patrick uh, Brintelinger has point out, cultural study is not a tightly coherent, un unified movement with the fixed agenda, but a loosely coherent group of tendency, issues, and questions. Cultural study also the not be a simple terms; it's a described of social issues, tendency, and questions. What in the social happened and arising from the social turmoil of the 1960s culture studies are composed of elements of marxism post-structuralism post-modernism whole subject are uh, connected with the cultures that's like a feminism point of view uh, to study in the cultures gender study anthropology sociology race ethnic uh, study film theory, urban studies, public policy, popular culture study, and post-colonial study. Those whole uh, subject are relevant of the cultures. And uh, the uh, the types of cultural study, the five five type of cultural study: the British cultural multiculturalism. Second is new historicism. Third is American multiculturalism. Fourth is postmodernism and popular culture. And fifth is the post-colonial study. And uh, in, in this presentation, I am dealing the third type of uh, cultural study is the uh, American multiculturalism. And first, we have look up the dictionary uh, definition of multiculturalism according to American Heritage Dictionary of English Language. That is, uh, multiculturalism is the relating uh, several cultures connected with uh, many cultures and the social or educational theory that encourages interest in many cultures with the uh, society rather than in a only mainstream culture. And uh, American culturalism that is uh, 1965 
the word race riot drew a worldwide attention that is the the uh, the uh, verbal what race riot is the the incidents and that in the one uh, 20 years old younger boy the uh, arrest the in the pol police arrest in the, in the drunk uh, drunk case and that uh, it's uh, it incidents uh, happened in the uh, in the 1965 that in America and then Civil Rights Act had passed in 1964. It's a uh, give to uh, human rights and uh, backlash was well underway in the 1965. Murders and other atrocities attended the civil rights much from Selma to uh, Mantro, uh, Mento Jomari. I mean, Selma is a uh, uh, peacefulness of that and uh, President uh, Le Le uh, Landon uh, von Schoen signed to Voting Rights Act. In this act, the woman's right given that, but in that time, the uh, the one persons are suffering the um, suffering by the policeman and harass that. And uh, and uh, uh, the in that question that is the the woman's rights to give the freedom liberty but how that uh, they are not uh, working like that and americans will be puzzled by race distinctions from the past since children of multi uh, multiracial background may be the norm rather than expectations and given the huge influx of mexican americans into the united states over the last 15 year immigration Pair, uh, pair, uh, part, uh, patterns indicate that by the year 2015. In this way, the 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 look at the uh, United States in the uh, look at the futuristic view that Anglo American will no longer to be a majority in United States. Mexican American are just ma marginalized that and that uh, no English necessary the most widely spoken language. And uh, Henry Louis Gates uh, uses the for word race only in the quotation marks for the pretendence to be an objective term of classification. But it is a dangerous trope of ultimate uh, irreducible uh, differences, difference between cultural and linguistic group and adherence of specific belief systems, which more often than not also have fundamentally opposed economic interests and race is still a critical features of american life full of contradictions and ambiguities it is a once that greater source of social conflict and the richest source of culture in uh, developing in america and the american multi multiculturalism study that the uh, race uh, gender ethnicity genders and sexuality uh, in the uh, uh, provides an interdisciplinary view of multicultural study in united states and addresses the wide range of topic that continue to define and shape this era of study and uh, Afri and uh, African American literature in this part of the uh, the uh, one is African American literature uh, in that in uh, in uh, literature written by American of African descent and beginning in the pre-revolutionary war period, African American writer have engaged in a creative, if often continuous dialogues with the American letters. And that that this that the time the reach uh, is a expressive sub uh, subtlet social insight and offering illuminate as, as assessment of American identity and history, and although since 1970 the African American writers there are uh, in the Tony Morrison's uh, she is the uh, well known uh, Amea, novelist in uh, America. And she is also uh, in uh, in uh, way, uh, right in uh, racism in the movement, and uh, she also in uh, write the uh, the problems of the uh, what happened in the United States, and in uh, in his uh, novel in her novels, and recognize the international as well national since in inception in the late 18th century. 
and illusions uh, use the black writers to trust their own experience and definition of reality. Uh, that is the black writer also inspired her life and uh, uh, on your experience and write a reality through in in their work. And he also upheld the folklore as a source of creativity. It was what black people had before they knew, uh, knew that there was such a thing as art. And Salve narrative is a walk of the bloody net turner uh, rebellions in the Southampton country, Virginia in 1831 is increasing a fervent anti-slavery movement in the United States. And the narr narrative of the life of Frederick uh, Douglass as an American slave who written uh, American slave uh, Frederick uh, Douglass work he in the uh, American slave written by her uh, by himself in 1845 it uh, explained the uh, establishing fair uh, in the Amer African American men's of letter. And in this work, uh, he, he uh, described the education and independence uh, and the portrayed her, uh, himself as a self man, which appealed strong to middle class with the American. And the uh, prose drama and poetry in the African American, that is the slave narrative, African American entered the world of prose and dramatic literature. In the 1853, William Wells Brown, an internationally known fig, uh, fugitive slave narrator, authorized the first Black American novel, Clotel, or The President's Daughters. In, in that uh, novel, tells that uh, tragic story of beautiful uh, light thinning African America uh, daughter to Thomas Jefferson's and his slave mistress. Clo Clotel dies trying to save her own daughter for slavery. And five years later, another is the uh, Brown also published is the first African American play that is the a leap for freed uh, the escape uh, or leap for freedom is the based on the familiar to a uh, reader to uh, fugitive slave narrative in uh, 1859 the first African American woman fiction appeared the two offer a short story by Frances Ellen Watkins Harper dealings with a middle class woman who uh, rest in not a specified and American Indian literature that influence another part is American Indian literature influence that is the the deals with the uh, religions uh, in moral values, practical codes and practical lessons of everyday life for American Indian story are uh, source of strength in face uh, face of century in silence by Europe America the term Indian uh, miss uh, normal and stereotype as the cowboys and Indians. That is the uh, in, uh, the um, Indian American Indian are not get a proper respect and not uh, it not uh, uh, give uh, and accept the proper uh, uh, proper money for for that uh, their works in Indian giver that helped to white rest the continent away from the Indian indigenous people. And yet, American Indians is often preferred by Indians over Native American, as demonstrated in the names of such an organization as the American Indian Movement or Association for the Study of American Indian Literatures, uh, according to Alan P. Ellen R. Wallis noted that. And the best name to use would be those of hundreds of tribes which unawareness of the different languages, belief and custom. Uh, and that is uh, to, uh, together as the uh, Indian and the uh, uh, European identity themselves is the uh, French and Dutchess, but uh, the, rather than uh, European. So to American Indians identities are tri tribal and two types of Indian literature have e e evolved in the field of study. 
that first is a, a traditional indian literature and man second is mainstream indian uh, literature the traditional in indian literature also we know that the oral form is the song and uh, tales that uh, one generation uh, tells to in next and uh, next generations people and, and then spreading the that uh, way of songs and oratory way and the uh, mainstream indian literature are also ref refer of the indian english tradition genre of fictions poetry and autobiographically way and it was not until the 1960s that is american reading public at the large become aware of work by american indian writers especially after the publication of kyo writer m scott mohammed days house maid of brown which won the pulitzer prize and that the way that uh, big in this field that work is the beginning a renaissance of indian fiction and poetry and thank you and this is my references so hinama you have mentioned in your second slide that uh, by by the time 2015 anglo american will no longer be the majority so on what basis basis you are telling that by the time of 2050 anglo american will no longer be the majority and nor will english necessarily be the most widely widely spoken language yes uh, that i refer to american uh, multiculturalism that is point that the the united state in the, that an indo 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 american uh, indo indian are there in that is the time of that is uh, in uh, anglo american it means the it uh, give the identity of well, now that is uh, no i tell that the indo american indo american anglo american that is the term and it's a uh, that place america that united state the the many people are marginalized that and that is proper uh, the american red which is is a native there but it's uh, in that place is not be in uh, that is uh, there but uh, many countries are uh, uh, many countries people are coming that and uh, stay there it's a uh, uh, it's a time of in that the future that the point of that is the that is the not spoken language in the that is a uh, or own language Number, how does multiculturalism is affect uh, on uh, American society? You know that we have to uh, in Indian tradition we accept the old idea, welcome to all that. In the perspective of the uh, American society, in that is the multicultural. Multi uh, multicultural means that study of. of the not in any one place that is the study of the overall and study of the whole country and that is the american the society are uh, peoples are also be affected and very uh, that is and uh, to accept the idea of other country what what is the, their point of view to look at the cultures and that that's why in the american society are accepted
My slide is visible. Now visible. Okay. So my name is Hirva Pandya. Today I am going to deal with cultural studies and its four goals of cultural studies. This is my personal information. Points to ponder introduction. What is cultural studies? Four goals of cultural studies. Conclusion and work citation. Introduction. Cultural studies is interdisciplinary field concerned with the role of the social institution. In the shaping of culture, cultural studies emerged in Britain in late 1950s and subsequently spread internationally, notably to the United States and Australia. Contemporary cultural studies at the University of Birmingham, founded in 1964, and with such scholars as Richard Hogarth, Stuart Hall, and Raymond Williamson. Major concern of cultural studies as University of Sydney studied that cultural study will allow the examine this text, institutional institution and practice in relation to system of power and will provide you with a range of tools to analyze how meanings are produced, circulated and exchanged in variety of contents. The cultural studies major equip you to become informed and engage critical thinkers in relation to in important contemporary cultural issues and everyday experience. As in the one article of TC Global about the scholar review on this theory, according to Stuart Hall, the cultural studies is projected open-handed. It does not have any singular origins and has multiple discourses. And in one article by, of British Academy by Professor Angela McRobbie pointed out that even though cultural studies eventually found respectable space within arts, humanities and social science. So, so cultural study is not only studied in English literature, but it is uh, a multidisciplinary disciplinary field. Four goals of cultural study. First, cultural studies transcends the confines of a particular discipline such as literary, criticism or history. As it is noted in the one article of Nasirula Membrol, in this article he argued that cultural studies views everyday life as fragmented where meanings are hybridized and con constituted identities that were more or less homogeneous. So here I have taken the example of cultural study as Westland because in the Westland they are showing that uh, the, uh, people are lost the loss of moral, cultural identity and uh, uh, cultural crisis. In the recent time, uh, Sri Lanka were facing the uh, situation of star starvation that uh, in in that context i have taken the reference of the westland because the, the, the that in that time there were plague and in today's time there it is uh, starvation in sri lanka and it is also uh, studied as we can also study it as we have uh, also faced the pandemic situation of corona so it in that context. Cultural studies is politically engaged. As it is noted by Erica McCallum in one of her research articles, in people's account, the most common influence promoting higher political engagement appeared to be that throughout the various stages of their life, they were immersed in social contents and cultures that help to produce political attention and participation as an expected everyday activity. For example, if we see that how the cultural study is politically engaged, then if we see that uh, uh, if a political person belongs to our region, then uh, we, are ex they, we are accepted that person. But if he or she or they are not belong to our culture or region, then uh, then the person won't be accepted by the people. 
third the cultural studies denies the separation of high and low or elite and the popular culture as it is studied by bodiu pierre in one of his article the difference between high culture and low culture some what arbitrary both types of culture involves taste in music art literature and various material goods for example so so the distinction generally revolves around the specific types of tastes within those categories high culture in general involves an interest in classical music or opera according to pierre bourdieu view participation or interest in high culture leads to a form of a capital that can be used to produce various type of profit if we are going to some art exhibition then we are not making a difference between uh, high and low class uh, and if we are making the difference between high culture and low culture that it can be uh, seen as a uh, bias is towards that particular culture finally cultural studies analyze not only the cultural work but also the means of produce, production according to the barker cultural study has developed a form of cultural materialism that concerned with exploring how and why meanings are in, inscribed at the moment of production and they are focusing the three goals that who owns and controls cultural production if we are take the contemporary authors not particular contemporary all of them then uh, they are observed that who are owns that uh, controls and what type of readers are there if there are feminine readers they are uh, writing uh, about uh, regarding that if they are uh, re, uh, they are reader are believing in relationship some type of relationship that, that they are then they are writing regarding that the distribution mechanism of our cultural products then what type of uh, mechanism of cultural products and what uh, the cultural production is the production is belongs to whom whom community they are uh, uh, observing that the consequences of patterns of ownership and control for contrast of the cultural landscape conclusion the finding about culture can help leaders understand their over cultural biases and preferred preference different culture have different idea about what they want from their leaders and this finding help our leaders adapt their style to be more effective in different culture setting so to conclude it can be said that in every field of society whether it is politics or art or any other the culture study is cultural study is there this is my work citation thank you Nirvana, my question is: Can culture study play an important part to know about cultural issue? Yes, it the cultural study uh, play the vital role uh, to know about the cultural issue because uh, to when we are uh, studying a particular culture, we are come to know that uh, what issues are being raised by the society and what type of A solution of it so cultural study of course deals with uh, cultural issues so you have you have connected uh, starvation of sri lanka and the plague in the west place yes. so how did you connect yes uh, in the plague the, the the people of that that time that time they were uh, uh, loses the identity they were suffering from identity crisis and uh, uh, in the present time the sri lanka starvation in sri lanka the people are migrated from their country to another country so they are uh, belonging 
so they are changing their culture not uh, for uh, not acceptably but they are forced to uh, accept the culture because they were migrated some of them migrated not all of them So finally, we are coming to an end of this third season of presentation. Only one remains for you. Then you will be free and relaxed. But one season in fourth semester will remain. Uh, so last day, cultural studies, uh, you all have presented. Content was quite good on your slides. Somewhere, uh, some of you were able to connect quite well with uh, the contemporary examples. And many of you were just bringing the content in the study material. You are not able to connect with the everyday life. Cultural studies is all about everyday life. So today morning we had a couple of good presentations where uh, contemporary happenings were brought in a lot. So that is the basic uh, parameter of cultural studies. It is contemporary. It is everyday life. So the more you can see the contemporary, the more uh, beautiful the examples can become also. Uh, today morning we had uh, this session on uh, there was one question very interesting question about uh, this uh, which might be interesting to you also uh, that was like uh, how cultural studies can uh, make any changes in society that was uh, that connection well the study of this there so uh, any cultural critic like writer also is a critic and there are many writers who very minutely observe the contemporary happenings and then they write about those issues and problems there are other group of writer who write about the aesthetic delight of uh, the life and there are other group of writer who think that uh, we should use our power to write for the downtrodden, for any, any kinds of pain and agony that humans are because of either culture or religion or society or any power dynamic. So they use for that purpose and they're writing. So one of the very famous examples like uh, 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 this uh, uh, Harriet Stower Beach uh, and uh, the novel is Uncle Tom's Cabin. So that played a very vital role in abolition of slavery in America. So in the same way, many other texts like Charles Dickens novels also played a vital role in something for the poor people, for the advantage of poor. That also is there. So these kinds of writers are cultural critic. So they are creative writers, but they are writing. In the same line, we can also put this recently Nobel laureate writer, uh, Annie Arnoux. Uh, from France, French writer who yesterday only got Nobel Prize. And uh, uh, she writes about her own memory. Uh, she is a memorist and many of the biographical works are turned into novels also. Uh, when she was of the age of uh, 20 to 23, she had undergone terrible time about abortion. And during those days in France, she is a very old lady now, around more than 80 years. So in, in when she was of 20, 25 years of age, 23, maybe perhaps exactly. Uh, at that time in France, there were rules against uh, abortion. So you have to go for illegal abortion. And she wrote about that in the recent novel, Happening. It is translated in English as Happening. And there is a documentary also based on that, quite a renowned documentary on the uh, biographical novel of uh, Annie Arnoux, uh, title is Happening. Uh, you can Google and you can find maybe on from YouTube also this. Now that, uh, that kind of work uh, uh, even today is helping people to look how to uh, make judgments on abortions. 
who has a right to decide about abortion. So recently when Supreme Court has given the judgment in India also that it is uh, women who will decide. It is women's body. Now even in such sensitive issues also such writers who are cultural critics, they play a significant role. That is how it, it, it changes also. These are writers and then there are critics also. And cultural critic also reads in those literary texts something that that writer has not seen. Maybe deliberately, maybe that is not part of his life. Maybe you are elite, so those things are not touching you. Like, like Andrew Marvel, uh, we studied the poem uh, to his coy mistress. And what were we reading as a cultural uh, uh, critic? That what he has not presented, what has he missed out from the reality of the life that was death, STD deaths or plague related deaths. Why he speaks about death, but his death is very glamorized death. Like everybody loves to die in that way. <laughs> but there, there were the reality of those days where there were terrible deaths. So why he is not writing? Because he is an elite. He is belonging to an upper class where perhaps those things are not affecting. So what are we doing as a cultural critic? We are reading the silences, the absences. That is where Deridian framework, uh, metaphysics of presence, that the binary is that presence, present is always privileged over absence. So what is present is visible. It is seen. So we sing the songs of what is present. But rarely can we think of or apply our imagination or critical capabilities for something that is absent, that is voiceless, that is on the periphery, that is on the margin. For them, it is very difficult. That is where cultural critics becomes significant. So there are writers who are writing, that is fine. But there are writers who are not writing, then cultural critics come and they question the absence. That why you are not telling a story about this? When this is happening, when you are leaving, then why this is absent as Narmada Bachao Andolan and the novel and then the absence. So how that is then? So that is uh, slowly and steadily it brings in change. When people question, then several changes also come. At least the mindset changes. People's mindset uh, uh, slowly and steadily may change uh, in the same way. Uh, well, so today we had uh, this uh, Amina presented on digital culture. Okay. Uh, Noam Chomsky's reference also was given. It might have been a little bit more organized also, uh, the way you have presented uh, flag and other things you have referred there. Bauna on hegemony, uh, more examples, contemporary examples, rather than only about KFC and McDonald's, uh, which is far off from us. Uh, so how we look at the other things. Uh, we discussed this example of Nestle in Tigers, uh, film Tigers we referred. So that can might have come as an easy example. And you might have talked about at least that also, which was discussed in the class. Uh, Dhruvita presented. Mm, yeah, we, we discussed that slide format. You need to work out on that. Okay. Content was good uh, and citation also was very well done uh, on, on, on the slides. Uh, Dwani on Othello uh, and new historicism that was read. But, but the better understanding is lacking. So you found something good and you presented. But... Uh, the proper understanding of that was lacking. So that pseudoscience about racism, that idea is a very significant idea. We discussed that in Frankenstein also. The, the race as a, as a, the, the, the race of devils. That was the point in Frankenstein also. So like traditional mindset believes that uh, uh, all these characteristics that humans have, uh, their behavioral pattern, it is connected with their genes. So if you are born in this race, you are intelligent. If you are born in this caste or class, you are intelligent. You are more powerful. If in another one, then you will have a lake of power, lake of intelligence, lake of smartness. That is how, but that is not supported by science. <laughs> That's why that belief is Lokvidya. And that is why pseudoscience, it goes into pseudo. Though widely people believe in that. If you try to look at the literature, you will find so many examples in all regional literature also which supports this idea that people are genetically constructed and so uh, whatever are the characteristics of a caste or a class or a gender that gets reflected in the people also. So when we study we open up why that happens because there is a growing, there is a kind of a growing 
and because of that people behave in one or the another way that's why simon de boa has not agreed with this and said that man is not born woman is not born but made by society so that way caste class race they all also make identities by making a language around them so that way you have to see why how it is pseudo science why it cannot be considered as a proper uh, science though so many people believe uh, in those ideas uh, janvi uh, presented quite well we have seen some mistakes there but you have to again differentiate things properly uh, the chetan bhagat and uh, this one uh, what are the thing there was one good question about language and difference and other things so that also needs to be seen uh, more carefully that how because their time timeline is completely different both are working in a completely different environment and all their uh, tools uh, are different today chetan bhagat makes use of lots of the social media and other kinds of those was not there in the days of nathaniel hawthorne uh, divya sheta cyber feminism uh, for that example of uh, metaverse abuse case you need to find authentic source you cited one but don't go by whatever comes first Uh, so your pr- criteria is you want to have a name of the person who has written first first is that so far as you do not get the name of the person you should not be satisfied you should keep on looking that let me find a name and once you found a name then you have to say who is this person that you have to find is he somebody who is a researcher academician then it is better otherwise whoever it is so you have to again look for who is this person so you again search for the person whose profile is made available to you then you get so that way this searching goes on that's why we said that uh, 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 this academic writing or research based writing and uh, answer book writing is a different thing in answer book whatever is the memory you have to write you can't take help of open book things if those exams are open book or open internet then this all things will be expected there also nowadays it is not expected because we understand that you can't memorize it but if it is open book then expectation will be different that because this is all open book you should know you should find uh, those all references uh, also uh, khushbu on new historicism okay. so basic difference uh, old historicism and new historicism today uh, earlier old uh, old historicism history was background and writers are considered historian but well they try to say things in a more metaphorical way it cannot be taken word by word as truth history if it is a novel we have to sift it properly and see that in new historicism uh, it, the support material is becoming text so when i read a text and i want to write pro- problematize the text that is very again so there is deconstructive element becoming very important earlier one in the old historicism you were supporting the reading of the text here you are trying to break the narration and for that you require evidences so you will go to diaries to letters other pamphlets other things about that when how it is published and so today when any controversy happens around any work of art either it is painting in gallery some uh, uh, problem happens and people don't allow people to exhibit the painting that all becomes very important uh, today so then something is written some blogs are written some news are there and if somebody is preserving all these things then after 50 60 years they have a very rich material to become new historicist they that all resources uh, becomes very valuable if you are preserving uh, newspaper uh, uh, video clippings of news or any of those thing then uh, it becomes very useful because once the time will pass then it becomes very valuable uh, to study uh, those thing and then what is happening or what is not happening like why people were not making particular kind of film today we don't know which kind of films we are not making or which kind of literature we are not writing that we don't know after some years people will see that well this was happening but why people were not writing about it so then the support material can help us in reading Uh, other thing so that becomes a valuable text in new historicism uh, himanshi on study of power uh, was there uh, so all these points uh, which was there in our content that is discussed some examples were also given there was a good question uh, that was about knowledge and wealth as a power uh, that was uh, that question that was asked that knowledge 
and what which is important knowledge power or wealth power now in cultural studies both are equally problematic so outside cultural thing people will say knowledge is power here you politicize even knowledge also because michel foucault has said that the knowledge is connected with power in a way like whatever is considered as a knowledge is connected with who is in the power uh, and how that is uh, 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 like it is spread across when people do that you are given paramvir chakras so then that is how people are more imitated to do so the very idea of knowledge itself is equally problematic as wealth is there so they are not on the opposite side in traditional discourse they are on the opposite side so when i am in quest of knowledge as if i am doing something good quest of wealth i am doing something bad <laughs> that is traditional uh, and then theology supports those kinds of narrative but in cultural studies even knowledge is question so that's why education systems are question and that's why because they are, they are the base of knowledge creation and that is where the the service of knowledge or the new people are cultivated in a particular way through a kind of a knowledge that is syllabus and and that so what is in the syllabus what people want in syllabus what people want to remove from the syllabus that is all about knowledge the game around the knowledge and the politics around the knowledge systems there so you want to teach them particular kind of a thing so when they grow up they will think in that way only and so when somebody says that we want to make them critical thinkers some says no we want to make them very civilized and cultured so they should bow down to the thing so that they, they teach a particular pattern where when as soon as you see something people do shastrang pranam that is and that is kind of an education is very much there whatever is in the syllabus but what people learn uh, is this and some learning you stand up and question uh, so that is the knowledge uh, very very knowledge idea is very uh, interesting to be seen there uh, hinaba uh, also presented uh, so uh, many like this presentations and uh, this that was the last one no? mm -hmm. so uh, a few things like when you make very long and dull presentation like there is only text in that instead of not even an image or a gif or a video which should be added so none of the slide should go completely textual based only that is the parameter you have to keep in mind on each text at least one image or one gif or one video and a text the combination of that should be made by everybody in the morning we said that there are several ideas which we have not discussed i think in semester 1 and 2 so maybe you are not aware huh, about uh, uh, these things for example there is this point of picha kucha picha kucha presentation styles different picha kucha uh, 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 is a, there is a website also p w e c h a k u c h a picha kucha 2020 20 by 20 huh? like this uh, fast cricket 2020 the same way so it means that uh, your presentation has 20 slides and the slides will move automatically at the end of 20 seconds so 20 into 20 that is 400 seconds it means 6 minutes and 40 seconds your presentation will run at the end of 6 minutes and 40 seconds there will be thank you slide you can't speak anything you have to end your presentation so like earlier when we used to have around 40 40 plus students you can understand that in 20 we are taking 6 hours if there are 40 then it will be 12 hours and we can't give them time like you are taking time in speaking or question answer another thing so we have to tell them to use this kind of a thing so automatically slide will change after 20 seconds so you will have to change accordingly you don't have to control the presentation so that is picha kucha that so no need to worry 6 minutes 40 seconds there will be thank you you will have to end and do that and normally in this slides there is image prominent image and text you are talking text you are speaking and there is an image so but you can make a combination of text and image and try picha kucha kind of a thing it requires lots of practice uh, also then there are many other things like there is a rule of 7 some say rule of 7 some say rule of 5 some say rule of 6 now it means that uh, the presentation is of seven slides uh, per slide seven bulleted lines uh, bullet lines only seven and each line will have not more than seven words if it is rule of 5 then 5 rule of 6 then 6 not bulky paragraphs like you are putting all heavy paragraphs there 
not like that paragraph but bulleted uh, bullet lines and either five words only or six words only or seven words only uh, rule of five five slides five bulleted lines and five words and seven then seven that is rule of seven six or five uh, depending upon the length of the topic people use that uh, then there is this uh, rule of 166. This is good for you also. Like each and every slide should have an idea, one idea. Each slide should have one idea. So 166 is one is per slide one idea. Then uh, in that slide, six bullet points, six bullet points and uh, not more than six words per bullet points per bullet point no, not more than six that is one six six so you are talking about three ideas then there will be three slides you're talking about five ideas then there are five slides and the idea is ending in the particular slide only so one six six that is that format of uh, working on that also so that way there are many uh, when you google how to make this slide or you'll find you'll find lots of ideas about how to make effective and powerpoint is not very lengthy uh if you want to make lots many things and bring so many examples and talk so many things in more than like 12, 14, 15 minutes or more than 10 minutes, then that is what you have to do in assignments, not here. Assignment is for lengthy writing. As lengthy as you want to be, you are free to be. And there is no limit at all. Now keep on writing in 50,000 words, 1 lakh words, whatever examples you want to give, you give there. Uh, you want to give 50 images, put 50 images there videos you want to put you put there no limit assignment as here there is a totally opposite skill and that is uh, you have to be very brief you are told that tell me about this within five minutes so you come with an idea and talk about that within five minutes so how to be brief that is are the, that are the skills of presentations so if somebody is asking you interview question they don't want very lengthy answers in few words that you speak you have to speak the main content otherwise they will switch over to next question thinking that you don't know the answer they prove you don't know and you think so that's it you have to be to the point that is powerpoint this is the, your each and every slide should have a power and it should be pointed directly it strikes to the people so as brief as possible you have to be in present as lengthy as possible in assignment you have, both the skills are different banne skillo juda prakar ni ch bo ek nanakdi vat ne tamare am vat nu vate sar karvano ch ene ene tamare pele homeopathy ni dawa ghutya j kare ghutya j kare em nanakdi vi vat ne ghuti ghuti ni tame 50 pana lakhi sako e pan skill ch that is also a skill that you have to do in assignment. But here, very long thing, very briefly, you just have to give a glimpse of that. That is uh, what you have to try here. We, we hope that in next semester you will be careful. And in next week, you also will have this uh, one workshop with uh, the students, uh, semester one students. So there also you can share this all things, uh, share all these ideas. I will give you that uh, uh, brief guidelines also. When you make presentation, simple thing you have to think that start with a question and try to answer that question and to answer that question you take support of critics and other writers and then you give your own conclusion that is simple and whatever support you have taken cite them nothing else so there is a hypothesis in your presentation you want to prove something that is your hypothesis you to argue to prove that in favor or in against or some uh, arguments which are against your hypothesis you justify and prove your own argument and to do that you want to take support of somebody and with the help of them you will do that then uh, uh, whatsoever support you have taken you have to cite them it is as simple as that way uh, to make your present so your presentation becomes unique your own you don't have to like go to any article material and and you have to keep on uh, well, uh,
Here is the name. So you see and bring. So you want to say something to support that you go to article and then you do this. So that is the idea. Now this workshop, either Monday or Tuesday, we have told in the morning session also, plan your things. One citation you have to tell again. So even in the this workshop, the presentation was done, that can be repeated for them again. And whatever questions you have faced, that you have to share. So either one of you can make a small present, make a survey and ask people this idea I have given in the morning also the so one or two students can do that. That what were your problems of citation? Uh, whether you were suggested that this is error, then share that or you, even if you were not suggested, but you face the problem, then also you share. So they can learn from your mistakes or whatever hardship you have done from that uh, uh, they can learn. So. You may say that, well, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is So whatever is your problem, that you can share. So that is more valuable to them, that what is your actual experience, that, that you can talk. Or randomly also you can talk. Otherwise, you can just share your ideas also. So, citation and that uh, and also this idea is about presentation also you have to talk with them that this way if you will make it will be good uh, you'll have to do it live uh, live streaming uh, because i am out of gujarat so i will watch it live uh, this is what you are doing so on stream yard you will have to do those live sessions they all will be sitting here uh, semester that student and whoever com is, are coming from your class you will be roaming around uh, there. I have told uh, to, to this uh, Nilay also in the morning and ICT committee members, you have to make four laptops available here. So see whichever four good laptops are working with camera that we have to put as a fixed one. So those who want to work, they will come here and work. They will not take those laptops home. They will work here and then when the, their presentation will begin on 15th. At that time, we will not change the laptops. It will remain free because in the small break they will not be able to change right? very quickly all this thing so all this setup will remain as it is and you can come and work here for your assignment and other thing whoever wants to use laptop here and for good quality with camera that laptop that is department laptops will remain here only right? that will remain fixed that you have to do that okay? so this either monday or tuesday you will you can discuss and plan it out that on which day you want to have this workshop for huh, the students and share your experience so we can improve the quality of those students from first semester itself okay so we are ending our uh, this uh, third season of uh, the presentations uh, with this last presentation here okay? now wish you all the best for your internal test which is after diwali okay?